revolves around a cult. This cult was unique. Because the followers of this cult live in a remote area rather than among the people of modern society. This cult has only one male, named Shepard and the rest were mostly females. Shepard is actually the commander of that cult. He used to guide all females and they also followed his orders. This cult was divided into two groups. One consisted of wives, while the other cult belonged to their daughters. The dress color of wives is red while their daughter's dress color is blue. Shepard is the husband and father of these females. They used to think that Shepard was their commander. They think that they were created by Shepard. The reason for thinking like that is, Shepard had found them separately in their worst condition. It means their life was pathetic before, and Shepard had shown them the path to lead a peaceful life. They were much engaged in their lives and they perceived Shepard as their creator. They used to obey him and serve him as a slave. Their living style was uncomplicated. They were disconnected from modern society completely. Even no one was brought to the hospital if she suffers from any disease. This cult had some rules which were framed by Shepard himself. These rules were carried out strictly. Because this cult was mainly composed of women, so having periods was considered to be normal. If someone was having periods, she would be kept separate from the cult because they believed that in those days that women gets impure. Even all issues were under the control of Shepard. He was remembered at every time even at dinner time, sleeping time etc. If someone is praying, they were damn sure that Shepard has the power to award them everlasting life. Selah was the most favored daughter of Shepard among other daughters. He used to think that Selah is pure and she was different from others. Her mother died during her birth. Selah used to inquire about her mother from him. But Shepard never responded to her openly. He only said, your mother was most beautiful and you are also like her. There were two more ladies who were kept in a separate cabin at a little distance from others. The reason behind this was, one of the ladies was sick. Shepard used to call her cursed. While the second lady named Sarah was considered impure by Shepard because she had violated some of the rules framed by him. She was only served food, but none were allowed to accompany her. All despised her. Even Sela had the same view about her. When Sela takes sheep for grazing the next day, she experiences periods for the first time. She gets much scared about it. She could barely understand anything. She even kills a sheep, but she doesn't describe this issue with anyone else. She lies about the sheep saying that she fell asleep and some dogs killed that sheep. But Shepard doesn't inquire anything about that and forgives. The next day police arrive there and warn Shepard to leave that place otherwise they will arrest all. Shepard gets very upset about it. He gathers all his wives and daughters. And says that people of this world will not let them live in this place. They should leave this place soon. As we started living here, we will find some other place to live. Except Sela, everyone was happy about this, because they were excited about the new place. On the very next day, they pick all their luggage and move out for finding a new place. They used to rest at night and start the journey in the daytime. Sela felt scary dreams soon after she had the period experience, especially about Shepard. She believed something was going wrong. During their journey, they find an old unoccupied home. Because of winter, it was not easy to stay without shelter. Even during intense cold, Shepard refuses to live there. He says we can't live here, as this residence belongs to poor people and we are different from them. We shouldn't be like them. They spend the night by placing tents over there. One of Sela's sisters finds about her periods. She tells about it to everyone. Hearing upon this, Shepard orders Sela to live with impure Sarah. Sarah tells Sela many things. Especially about her mother and Shepard. She tells that when Sela was born her mother was much ailing. She had an infection. She very much needed medical advice, but she was not sent to the hospital because of Shepard. Finally, she died due to illness. Then Sela inquires that why she is still here? Why she has not abandoned these people? She replies that I'm used to this type of life, now I even don't know about my identity. In reality, she hated Shepard so much. She knows about the cult and reality of Shepard. That is the reason she was left alone. 
so that she may not instigate other people. Now Sila starts to feel strange about all this, she also starts hating Shepard. But she never shared her feelings with anyone else. Because every other believed him to be a god. For so many days they were doing the journey. And Shepard says to them that he will take them to heaven. And will grant eternal life there. A woman named Adriel realizes that her pregnancy is near. She cries a lot and shouts too much. But this was not the right place and time. But that situation becomes out of her control. Other females help her, but after giving birth she dies. Everyone was sad about her, but Shepard was never sad. They put her dead body on fire. Then Sila starts blaming Shepard for everything. According to her, he is the cause of her death. Even after that, they continue their journey, but Sarah had left the cult. Because Adriel gave birth to a baby boy. And Shepard never allows any male in the cult, except him. So they leave that child there and Sarah stays along with him. But she explains to Sila that you are a strong girl and you have to explain this to your sisters. They all are tired now and it feels as if Shepard has lost the path. Then one of Shepard's daughters says that we might have to follow some other path. Shepard gets very angry at her for advising him. Shepard hits her in front of everyone. She cries a lot and admits her mistake. But despite all this, no one was willing to help her. He drags him badly saying don't teach me. They start the journey again and everyone follows Shepard. After a very long journey, they finally reach their destination. That place looks very vast and beautiful. And Shepard says that I'm awarding you heaven in this world. From now onwards we would live here, and everyone was happy about this. Soon after reaching the lake, he gives a bath to his daughters so as to make them pure. He promises his all wives that he will give them eternal life. But they were unaware, which type of eternal life it would be. Shepard calls Sila into his tent. Sila feels strange about his intentions. During midnight he takes all his wives to the lake. And throws them into the lake and kills everyone by drowning. In the morning when all daughters wake up. They notice that their mothers were missing. They all become afraid and come to Shepard while he was sitting near the lake. There they find dresses of their mothers. They all cry a lot. And inquire Shepard about their mothers. He replies that he has awarded them eternal life. He says that now you all have to take your mother's place. You all are my wives, now you all should take care of me. He says to Sila that you will become my favorite wife. And you have to lead all others. My full focus will be upon you. Sila comes forward and refuses to be his wife. Sila rejects his offer. Shepard slaps on her face. Sila becomes furious and retaliates by slapping him back. After that, we see policemen who discover dead bodies of numerous females. They also find